Am I saying a prayer with us? Really? It's a family tradition before we eat. Can I get on your knees for this? Thank you. This one goes out to our father. We appreciate all the nice, wonderful food we gave us. We appreciate the lives of Grandma Gertrude, who died because somebody took their mask off to wipe their forehead for one second. And that one second, he spread COVID to her. It's your girl Stephanie, and I am back today, and I am more offended than ever. Now, a lot has changed since the last time I saw you guys. I found someone who understands my sensitivity, and he is just as passionate about getting offended as I am. Allow me to introduce to you guys my boyfriend, Travis. Make sure to check out both of his channels, Predator Poachers and Chet Goldstein. And with that being said, I think it's time to go find some things to get offended by. Let's go get offended. Hi. Hi, how are How's you? How's it going? I love her hair. I don't think he's so much. Yeah, it was nice. Got nothing to say but my hair. I still got a little bit of hair left even though I'm going bald. It was just kind of... You know, I kind of felt a little bit left out. Well, well, I love your hat. That you like my hat? Yeah, I don't, I don't see your hair. Like, yeah. I love your hat. I love your hat. Thank you. Okay. 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 Okay, I was just wondering, like, if there if there's pig on the menu, there are the, Austin has a pretty big Jewish community, and uh, you know Italians were historically against the Jews in World War II, and the fact that y'all still serve pork on the menu as an insult to Jews is very offensive to me. They also torture the pigs. Right, absolutely. Yeah, I know that. I'm so sorry about that. Like, there's also I can't believe you didn't even point this out, but the menus are paper. Yeah, and, it's just crabby, you know. Yeah, so we because, just throw them away when you're. But you can still spread the virus through here. Yeah, actually, he actually lost his grandma to the virus. I uh, sure so did. Sorry. So he only has one grandparent left. We are, actually we have like a, the one that you scan code, the QR code. Okay, can, can you please take these back? Yeah. Because if I have to go to another funeral, then like, oh my God, yeah, I can't deal so with it. Sorry. How's it going? Hey. 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 Austin out. Oh, you're Austin from Austin? Austin. Oh, no way. I hate to be that guy, but as you know, 2020 has been a really sensitive year for all of us. And, you know, having, I hate, I hate to say it like this, ha having an African-American colored mask on, it kind of signifies blackface. And, you know, especially with all, with all the shootings going on, you think you could get a different colored mask because that really kind of, you know, I have black friends, you know what I mean? And you, you think maybe you can maybe get a different mask than that because, like, I know you're not racist and I know it's just your ignorance really kind of working here. Like, I, trust me, I know you're not racist, okay? But we all have white privilege here and maybe you could check privilege by not wearing a black face mask, you know? No, I get that. For sure, uh, for sure. I don't know if I, I, I brought this up. Okay. So I don't know if we have any. If we do, are they different? From home? So you support blackface? What is that? You said you brought it from home. Mm -hmm. So that would mean you support blackface and racism. Well, no, no, no. Like, I always got given these by work. Okay. And so I just wash them and I reuse them. I don't have any other masks personally. I'll go see if they have some in the back. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Absolutely, absolutely. It was just like the company sent those out at the very beginning of COVID. Yeah. And so I had it, and I just got a couple of rewashed them. I appreciate that. Yeah, I got you. I, again, I, I don't mean to be that guy again. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I have a doctor that's an uncle, okay? And he died on the front lines during COVID, you know? So to kind of wear that surgeon's mask, spraying yourself around like you're a doctor, when there's doctors that have died on the front lines is kind of... It, you know, it's, it's equivalent of stolen valor, you know? Like, I would, you wouldn't be wearing camo disrespecting our troops, right? So why would you wear that surgeon mask disrespecting our doctors? What's, what's the difference here? No, it's the only thing else they have. I, I had that one and this one. I'd rather get COVID if you didn't I, I'd rather just get COVID from you. I love Italian food, and I don't want my experience ruined by those, by those very offensive choices of masks that you had on. Do you think maybe just not wear a mask? You understand my sensitivities though, right? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, thank you. 
you're you're a good man okay it's just you know it's not your fault you're white you know what i mean but well, I don't know. What do you want to order? Just get some waters for now. I'm still looking at the menu. Okay. Two waters. Okay. Yeah. Would you like some bread or tomorrow as well? Sure. Okay. I can't have a lot of carbs, so no bread for me. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have straws by any chance? I do. Perfect. Recyclable ones. Recyclable straws. Oh no, we don't do plastic. That's bad for the environment. So they don't have metal straws here? So this restaurant supports pollution? That's all we have, I don't know. Oh my god. Just in case. <clears throat> here we are. Thank yeah. you. Hey, how much was that uh, bread, by the way? Oh, it was free? So my problem with that is... Oh no, we don't take free handouts, Travis. Yeah, there's too many poor kids in this country, and the fact that you would give this bread to basically privileged white folk. It's not necessary. He makes... So, like, in all, all seriousness, we give it out, but we could charge for it. Please do. Seriously, if it's like, if you get, like, entrees and stuff right now, then it'll be on the house. You charge this to his credit card. If he makes $30,000 a year, he can pay for his own bread. I'm just being serious. Oh, we're not joking either. No, absolutely not. So, you charge him whatever that costs. Okay, so, do you have any vegan options on this menu? Well, plants are technically alive too. Do you have anything where you don't have, where you don't involve the killing of anything? Like, I don't want dead plants, dead animals. I just want side to flourish, but I also want to fill my stomach. So, what, what, what do you have that's full out vegan? You didn't kill no plants, you didn't kill no animals. Because killing plants, you know, leads to pollution. Look at the climate. You know, I'm not freaking setting the world ablaze like some fake biblical stuff in order to fill my stomach. You know what I mean? Not to mention it is unethical. The plants have feelings too. Absolutely. Okay, so, uh, do you have something like what he described? I'm trying to think, honestly. Okay. Um, I want to say the pomodoro sauce is the tomatoes, so... That's not good. I can do... Okay, so the idea I have off mind is maybe the gluten-free pasta with olive oil and that herb mix. Okay. And that's one of the ideas I have in mind right now. But how many calories does that have? Oh, good point. I honestly don't know. I can go find out for you. Because... I can't have him gaining any more weight. Obesity is the number one cause of death in the United States, and I can't lose him after we lost his grandma and then his surgeon uncle. I know it's a difficult time now, but uh, it's a team effort here, you know? We're all on the same team here. I'm gonna go see what that is. Uh, uh, yes, so please. Of so unfortunately, we do not have a color. Oh my God. So what I was told oh my gosh. Uh, is that the recipes we do have on the menu, we have a color count, but the CYOP, once we start stuff which we do all the time there is actually no way to count i think we should just get one of those and share it between the two of us so a bowl of the gluten-free with olive oil and herbs yeah actually no olive oil again i'm not trying to give him a heart attack um, would you like a different sauce if you have some calorie free sauce then please yeah he's on a diet right now or no sauce you know if it has no to sauce okay sure yes. so just gluten-free pasta and herbs yeah, you know, I don't, uh, I don't mean to insinuate. I, you know, I'm not accusing y'all of anything again. Mm -hmm. But uh, this, uh, you know, are are you trying to give me uh, a little spoon right here? To are, is he not a good enough little spoon? He's an amazing cuddle buddy, you know. And I, so I, I don't, I don't need another little spoon to satisfy myself. Okay, so I, I'm gonna need you to take this little spoon back because I'm very faithful to my wife. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Here we are. Oh, it looks delicious. Oh, this looks really good, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Am I saying a prayer with us? Really? It's a family tradition before we eat. Yeah. Why, not? Why not? We pray for everybody. We're not we're not, we're not Christian ourselves. We say a prayer for everybody. We say appreciate what we have. You know. Ready? I better hold hands. Can I get on your knees for this? Thank you. All right, repeat after me. This one goes out to our father. This one goes out to our father. And you know, we want to be inclusive of everybody, including homosexuals here. This one goes out to our daddy. This one goes out to our daddy. That we appreciate all the nice, wonderful food he gave us. That we appreciate all the nice, wonderful food he gave us. And we appreciate the lives 
uh, Grandma Gertrude who died because somebody took their mask off to wipe their forehead for one second. And that one second, he spread COVID to her, got into her immune system, killed her. Despite her having pneumonia and diabetes and every other thing, corona killed her. And this one goes out to our uncle, Uncle Joe, who was valiantly fighting on the front lines to save our country from this virus. All right. So, you know, repeat after me. For Joe. For Joe. For Bertha. For Bertha. May us all. Oh, and her cousin Jamal, who got stabbed last week by a blood. Oh, speaking of that, you mind taking off that red apron? He got killed by a blood. And it represent the red apron kind of represents bloods, you know. Just, the, just, just remove the red apron for the prayer, please. Okay. Thank you. It's for, it's for Jamal. It's okay. We just want to be respectful of everybody. I can't do that. Just take the apron. I'll put it on the ground for one second. All right. I'll be back. Thank you. Going. Gen uh, gentlemen, there's only one gentleman oh, here. Very sorry. Very sorry. Steph, you all right? Okay, so basically, uh, you know, we uh, we hate being those guys. Those people. Right. We've repeatedly saw racism going on here. First, and you yourself, like the, the whole blackface thing with the That's mask. That's not blackface, sir. The only reason that I I'm the owner, okay. and I've been I've heard about all of it. Okay. So the thing is, is that. Uh, if you don't mind. Sure. Okay. Yeah, no, I mean, the only reason we have these black masks on okay. is to keep everybody. Actually, we, at, very, at the very beginning, people could wear whatever custom masks they want. Okay. Then we were having, at other locations, people were having so many problems with what people were wearing on their masks that as a, we started just buying one mask, we wear black. So we have black. That's the only reason that we have black masks. It's because we but, all are blacks. We all have black serving. But so you're not only wearing black, though. That's the problem because the other gentleman was also wearing red. Yes. And that's the color of the bloods. And his cousin was murdered by a blood in New York. It's enough kind of like this. We, that's what we actually got out of there. See, the thing is, is that we have 195 stores. Okay. And all of them are the same thing. Oh, so all of them so are. it's not something that we're trying to do on our own. You know, this Italian organization is worse than the Mafia, you know? I'd rather have the Mafia patrol in the streets, because at least the Mafia is not racist. The black masks, right. the blood, him refusing to pray with us, then him imitating a surgeon. Like I said, I'd rather have an Italian organization known as the Mafia than this Italian restaurant. Okay, I would like to go ahead and say that, I mean, this it doesn't seem like we're doing what we need to do for y'all. And I've, I mean, I've talked to Austin. We're trying to do everything to be in, you know. And you couldn't even finish them. a prayer with us, you know. Yeah. You couldn't even finish a prayer with us, you know. Because the thing is, is that we're not bringing, okay, religion. We all have our own stuff. We oh, weren't no, doing we're no religion. religious. No. What? We're not religious, we just say it uh, because he lost his grandma and his uncle and then his cousin, you know, knife wound. And then Austin was mocking that, you okay. know. No, he was not mocking it. He just can't, I mean, he does, if, if, okay, if you didn't feel comfortable praying with somebody or praying with anybody, I would not force you to do it just because. Oh, we're not forcing you. Well, that's we the just thing ask politely. We're saying that he's discriminating because he won't pray with you. But I wouldn't make you pray with me. Well, it's, it's just that he's being very offensive to my girlfriend right here. And you know, okay. they always say the customers are always right, but these two customers happen to be very, very left-leaning, as you can tell. And y'all yeah. don't even accommodate our political views. No, we've been trying to accommodate you the whole time. Why is, why is there a hair in my food? Why not? There's a hair. Okay, it's a purple hair. Yeah. Yes, so do you have any waitresses with cooks no, with I, purple? I think that it might be the synthetic hair that's right here. There, there's look at can you examine that okay, i mean you're not paying for you know i'm not racist i don't see color so okay. you know what i would like for you to go ahead and go thank you hey we're just fucking we're, we're just pranking man we're gonna we're gonna take it all well man yeah we're gonna... <laughs> man i was trying to find my best guy yeah bro <laughs> I just, uh, is there? Uh, can, we, can we see Austin? We can like give him like hella yeah, money. Yeah, okay. I'll get Austin over here. Appreciate it. Hell <laughs> oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> dude, that was good, bro. That was good, dude. Dude, you're such a good sport, man. I had a feeling because I saw people get in the car. Yeah. And we all got out of it, and I was like, why is there people in the back seat? Yeah. That was. That was a trip. It's free, man. Oh, and yeah. bring us a check. We'll cover that. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, all right, that's enough. Like, yeah. I don't have a lot of patience because uh, like, my mom was a special needs helping for years. And so I put up Minecraft. 
so I have a lot of patience because of what she did for me. Yeah. But it's like, once the prayer thing, and then they take the apron off. Like, <laughs> That's, it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, I was saying, I wish we could hear what you're saying the whole time, like, inside. I'm going about you guys because I'm like, they're going to blow us up. They're going to go on Yelp. <laughs> Yeah, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all being good sports about it too, man. Y'all are awesome for that. Okay. All right, y'all take care, bro.